many people are broken today and need to be healed? And I come to tell you about the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, our God. I say he created heaven and earth, the sea and everything. And our God is awesome. And he can heal the broken heart. If your heart is broken today, give your life to our Heavenly Father. Give your life to Jesus, his son. And I promise you, he will heal that heart. He said he can strengthen you when you're weak. I know some of us, we get weak sometimes. And if you don't get weak sometimes, keep on living. You will get weak sometimes. And I'm telling you, our God is awesome. And he can strengthen you. All by his spirit. He can strengthen you with his word. He can strengthen you in the midnight hour. I come to tell you, our God is awesome and he's worthy to be praised. Can I get a witness up in there? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I said, our God. I didn't say man, but I said, our God is worthy to be praised. And he's awesome and he can heal the brokenness. Amen. Amen. And he can strengthen you when you're weak too. So many people are weak today. Amen. They are weak. And then sometimes they feel like they just can't get out of bed. Sometimes they feel like they just can't make it. But I come to tell you, our God is awesome. And he can strengthen you when you're weak. He can make you strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Can I get a witness in here? I don't know about you, but our God is awesome. And he's worthy to be praised. It says in Psalms 47 and 2, For the Lord most high is awesome. I say he's awesome. And the word of God is truth. Let every man be alive. But let God be true. Can I get a witness in here? Let his word be true. But, hey, look, I don't know about you, but I don't believe the word of God, no matter what comes my way, I'm going to stand on the word. Because I know the word is the only thing that's going to last. It's going to be here. It was here yesterday, today, and forevermore. The word of God will last. Can I get a witness in here? There's power in the word of God. Can I get a witness in here? Hallelujah. It says right here. It says that the great king over all the earth. Man thinks he's the king of this earth. But I come to tell you, it says in Psalm 47 and 2, for the Lord most high is awesome. And he, they say he's great king of all the earth. God, our God is, is the king of all the earth. You think I'm worried about something? My father is, is king of all the earth, and you think I'm worried about anything? I'm not worried about nothing. Because I cast all my cares upon him. And you need to cast your cares upon him. Because if you carry that burden around, it's going to keep you down. It's going to keep you burden. It's going to keep you weak. Kind of get a witness up in here. It's going to keep you weak, but if you just cast your cares upon him, Oh, and leave them there. Some people go back and pick them back up again. Amen. And they carry that heavy weight. But you need to cast your care and leave it with God. Because our God is saying to you, our God is awesome. And he's worthy to be praised. Can I get a witness up in here? I say he's alone all worthy to be praised. Amen. And it goes down a little farther. It says, he said, do the nations under us. People under our feet. Ah, our God is so powerful. Man think that he's in charge. But he's not in charge. Our God is in charge. Can I get a witness in here? Mm -hmm. I say he can subdue nations under his feet. I say our God is awesome. He's not going to let nothing happen to his children. If you put your faith in him, make him king and lord of your life, I promise you, our God is awesome. And he will strengthen you and give you strength when the, in the time of need. Can I get a witness up in here? If you haven't been weak and God giving you some strength. Have you ever been weak and you just praise him and say, Lord, strengthen me, God. Oh, God, I need you to help me go through this situation. God, I don't know how I'm going to make it tomorrow. But, God, I'm going to trust you. And every time he step in, don't he? He step in right on time. Can I get a witness in here? I say he'll step in right on time when you put your faith in him. And faith in God is what? Trust, obedience, and expectation. When you do those three things, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all of your ways. And he will direct your path. Can I get a witness here? And it's a trust in the Lord. You got to keep your trust in him. Amen. You, I, that's why I tell people, I say, put your faith in God. That's trust, obedience. Obedience is being a hearer to what do God's word. When you be a hearer as a doer of God's word, oh, God will bless you. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. Practice this word every day in your life. I'm telling you, sometimes you get messed up. Get back up. You know, I say, Lord, I messed up today. But God, help me obey your word. And he would answer that prayer. Because it's sincere from your heart. Lord, help me obey your word. Help me walk by faith and not by sight. And when you ask him, he will answer. Amen. I say, our oh God is awesome. Isn't he worthy to be praised? I say, he's worthy of his honor. He's worthy of his righteousness. It says here, our oh God is worthy to be praised. Amen. I say, he's worthy. And he said, on number four verse in Psalms 47 and 4, he said, he chose our inheritance for us and cried of Jacob, whom he loved. I say, God. It's awesome. God have an inheritance for each and every one of us. 
And it's up to us to get a hope to it. It's up to us to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and live with him. It's not all about us, but it's all about pleasing the Father. Amen. It's all about pleasing the Lord God Almighty. It's always, it's all about him and not all about us. When you see somebody, I'm, here, I'm preaching and it's all about me, then I know I'm lost. Amen. But when you start preaching on our Heavenly Father, talking about our Lord Jesus, how great thou art. I mean, how great he, he is. I'm telling you, that's when you know that that preacher is on the right path. Amen. Amen. If he ain't preaching Jesus, if he ain't talking about our Heavenly Father, there's something wrong. Can I get a witness in here? They all doing the sermon. I seen people preach, and they never mention Jesus' name. They never mention the heavenly Father because it's all about me. Kind of get a witness in here. But if we just realize our God is awesome, I said our God is awesome, and He's worthy to be praised. Can I get a witness up in here? I said our God is awesome. He reigned in heaven and earth. I said our God reigned in heaven and earth. He created all the heavens and more than more planets than this that we're standing on. Can I get a witness in here? I said, our God is so powerful, so, so awesome that he created earth and he created other planets too. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. Other beings and stuff. I said, our God, if we can, our mind can't even accept the things that, how power our God is. He only giving us just a little taste of him. I mean, a little taste of his word, you know, over here on earth. I mean, if you can really open your eyes and see how awesome our God is, you would straighten up and fly right. Can I get a witness up in here? Now, a lot of people ain't straightened up and ain't flying right. Some people going all kind of crooked. They doing all kind of crazy stuff. Trying to seek God in their own way when they need to just trust God. They need to trust the Lord Jesus. Kind of get a witness in here. Amen. And when you trust the Lord, everything is going to be all right. Because our God is what? He's awesome. And he's worthy to be praised. I don't know about you. I don't live off my feelings. I don't live off my feelings. I live off the word of God. Amen. I don't live off my Because if I live off my feelings, I'd probably be laying in hell right now. If I live off my feeling, your feeling will take you places that you've never seen before. Your feeling will have you doing things that you never did before. But you can't live off your feelings. You got to live by faith. Faith come by hearing and hearing by what? The word of God. We live by faith and not by sight. Can I get what's in here? I'm telling you, our God is awesome. And he's worthy to be praised. He is Lord. It didn't say man is Lord, but it said he is Lord. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy of his honor. He's worthy of his glory. He's worthy of it. But God told me to tell you that if you just trust him, trust him with your life, whatever you're going through. God said, I know there's nobody perfect on this earth. No one is perfect on this earth. If somebody tell you they're perfect, they're telling a lie. And the truth is not in them. As long as they live on this earth, they're going to make mistakes. Amen. Amen. That's why we got an awesome God. That's why we got a gracious God. That's why we got a God of forgiveness. Amen. We got a God that can straighten us up and put us on the right path. Amen. Oh, somebody in here, you know I'm telling the truth. If you never messed up since you've been a Christian, you're telling a lie and the truth is not in you. You're walking in a lie. You're deceiving yourself. If you never messed up since you've been a Christian. I'm telling you, when you walk in this walk of faith, you're going to get knocked down sometimes. But you got to get back up and say, Lord, I'm just going to trust you, God. I'm just going to wait, wait on my deliverance, Lord. Lord, I'm just going to wait for the blood. God, I'm just going to wait until you pick me up and give me strength. Can I get a witness up in here? I'm telling you the truth, and the truth should set you free. But these people running around here think they're holy than thou. Them the ones I'm very cautious of. They think they're better than everyone else. Like pride. And, and when pride comes, there come a fall. Kind of get a witness in here. Amen. That's why you got to stay humble before the Lord. That's why you got to stay prayerful, prayerful in front of the Lord. That's why we got to say, Lord, if you don't help me, I won't make it. If you don't help me walk right, God, I can't make it. God, if you don't help me talk right, I can't talk right, Lord. Lord, I need your help. God, I can't make it without you. Can I get a witness up in here? Our God is awesome. And he's worthy to be praised. I come to tell you, he's worthy of his honor. He's worthy of his glory. He's worthy of his righteousness. Our God is worthy to be praised. I come to tell you, this is kingdom. This is a growing together ministry under Bishop Dave Ray Lisa Ray. My name is Pastor Hardy, Jerry Hardy. I love you with the love of Jesus. And remember, Jesus is Lord. And God is awesome. And he's worthy to be praised. Don't, don't ever forget that he's